Yeah, I don't want to go to jail for anything. I'm much too, like, weak. And you're pretty. You are listening to the Stand Up Dads Podcast. This is heck of boring. Yeah, it is. Let's try again. Oh, did you see there's a sleeping bag out there? It looks like a tauntaun, and you, it's like you get stuffed inside it like Luke. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. How much? Is, oh, let's talk about that on here. Let's talk about We're that. We're on here. Like We're that. recording. Talk about Oh, we it. are? Oh, okay. We'll edit that out. That's great. <laughs> I didn't know we were recording. I did not know that. Yeah, so there's a, a sleeping bag for kids. I'm assuming it's for kids. <laughs> where When they get stuffed in there, they look like Luke stuffed in a tauntaun. I want that. That's amazing. <laughs> What's funny is Oli would be like, I don't want this. This is dumb. Like, and they probably only make it in a kid's size, you know? Probably. Thankfully, Christmas no. is around the corner. Yeah, that's a, that sounds amazing. And you wonder why you're single. Uh, you're listening to stand up dads this is rob and mike and this is episode 98 today we're going to talk about the token economy system to improve your kids behavior sounds complicated it's not we'll get to it yeah i just wanted to welcome one of my former co-workers dave who just started listening to the show hey dave and he made the observation you call your kid an asshole a lot (laughs) (laughs) to me so I guess I have to be aware of that. <laughs> I don't do it just out of spite. Usually he uses yeah. it. Because uh, <laughs> yesterday, Kim and I were on the couch watching some, I think it was like Beat Bobby Flay or something like that. And Owen was between us. Mm-hmm. And dad farted. And Owen started laughing. But then he goes and starts cupping my fart and throwing it in Kim's face. <laughs> <laughs> So my he bomb bombed his mom with my fart. Oh my god, that's and hilarious! She was pissed, and I couldn't do anything because I was laughing too hard. It's too funny. It's too funny. I couldn't yeah. breathe, dude. She's like, "You're okay with this? <laughs> You're okay with my this?" Finger, like, hang on, <laughs> oh, dude. And and by that point, it's too late. Yeah, oh, it's totally. I sent the wrong it. message. So bad. Oh god, he got the laugh. And that's, yeah, that's and now he's gonna. He's just waiting for me to do it again. The so. laugh from dad and the fury from mom are doubly like, oh, yeah. like rewards. You well, know, because he got me in trouble. Too. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. Double whammy. That's awesome. I don't think I can go to CPS for that one, so we're okay. Yeah. Although I'm ready to report you to CPS. Why? Oh, I know, because I put my Christmas tree up already. And I'm actually late because usually it's the day after Halloween is when Christmas trees are supposed to go up. It is but. November 16th, <laughs> and that thing's been up for a couple of days already. So Yeah, what day was it? Let me see. Um, it was like Friday. Friday. Yeah. Friday night, yeah. the 13th. Way late. Yeah, Friday late, the 13th almost two weeks. for putting up a Christmas tree. Great. Almost two weeks late. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking wrong. No, it's uh, not, man. Dude. What are you going to put up? Do you have Thanksgiving decorations? Yeah. Kim, what? <laughs> if you were married to Kim, you would have Thanksgiving decorations. She decorates oh. for, I'm surprised she doesn't decorate for Arbor Day. She puts up oh my shit God. for everything. Like we have different wreaths on the door for different holidays. Oh. At school, she put up a wreath that had like pencils and me- like rulers and stuff on it and apples and I don't know where she. So you just school. have like pilgrims and turkeys. I have no idea. Up. I don't pay attention. I just got to worry about cooking. <laughs> you haven't even looked at. It's up in your house, and you haven't even registered. I don't. I just. <laughs> um, I don't know, and I don't know what we're gonna do for Thanksgiving this year because I don't know. We're kind of hoping for good weather so we can do Thanksgiving outside, so we can have the in-laws oh, over. Yeah. But if not, because right now it looks like rain. Yeah. I'm just going to cook. And if I have to just cook, cut it up and bring it to people's homes and say, there you go. So be it. Yeah. Uh, Kim doesn't like that idea. Better than dying. (laughs) Oh, so last week we had bad dad Palooza and this is kind of a leftover, not really a dad thing, Mm -hmm. but just stupid criminal stuff. Yeah. I love this one. Alleged porch pirate arrested after wearing exact same shirt to court from surveillance footage. Oh, my God. So this guy got busted. That's awesome. <laughs> There's a picture. Of it. Wanna, I'll put the does, link up. Yeah, they have a picture of the shirt. Yeah, 
it's how a, distinctive is the shirt? It's a green North Face shirt with a big red North Face thing uh, logo on the chest. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so he was stealing, yes, yeah, Amazon packages and putting them in his backpack, and you know those ring surveillance things. That's hilarious. And he got arrested, and then he went back to court, and apparently they had up the picture of him from the surveillance photo, and he was wearing <laughs> the exact same shirt. <laughs> this is in Goose Creek. I don't know what state that is in. That's hilarious. But the cop said, well, sometimes people actually do make our job easier. This guy decided... <laughs> This guy decided to come into our courtroom the day after the first post was made. And lucky for us, he was even wearing the same shirt. We are happy to say he is in custody. So they didn't name the guy, which bummed me out. Oh, South Carolina. And then that got me looking and it was just kind of a lucky thing. I got one of those, uh, you know, page a day calendars. Yeah. And this weekend it was t-shirts worn by real mugshot subjects. <laughs> I'm not going to read all of them, but I love this. I wish I could see the pictures. Yeah. I may not be Mr. Right. <laughs> That's a good one. This shirt I want to get for myself. Yeah. Cleverly disguised as a responsible adult. That's a good one. Drunk as blank. It's just got like all the, you know, symbols and stuff that usually she's yeah. wearing. Mm -hmm. A shirt that said out on bail. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm picturing this. Next shirt on a guy. Have you seen the pictures of the mugshots where the guys are huffing? No. So it's like, huffing. Oh, good God. So they spray like spray paint into a plastic bag and then just wrap it around their face and just breathe that to get high for 10 seconds. So they, so it, they took us, they took a, um, like spray paint, like a spray paint can. Okay. Spray it into a bag and you wrap it around your face and you're just around your mouth. Like you're blowing up a balloon. And okay. you just breathe that in. And what happens is all the paint ends up on your face and you get, it's like doing whippets, you know, okay. whipped cream. So you, yeah. God, where did I go? So but anyway, they did that for, a, um, for, for their mug shot. No, it's just people have oh. been, I've seen mug shots where people like have gold face. Oh, they have it already. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just Google huffing mug shot and you'll see that. But anyway, back to it. I can get away with anything. <laughs> the last one it just says guilty guilty because <laughs> i always have uh stupid shirts yeah i like guilty guilty is a good one as an old fat guy i think i have to wear either funny t-shirts or hawaiian shirts <laughs> it's kind of what my fashion <laughs> sense is now well, Owen hasn't told you to start dressing like an adult yet he doesn't care uh, no, you know if you one. get that from a boy that's only yeah. So yeah, if you get that from a boy. <laughs> if I get that from a boy, I know he's going to be telling his boyfriend the same thing someday, which is fine. I'll love them both. Yep. Dad, you really need to match your colors better. <laughs> so speaking of Owen, he has been a bit of a terror this year because mm -hmm. he's not going to school. He's doing the distance learning and he's kind of turning mm -hmm. feral and we're kind of at our wits end and then kim sent me an article a couple of weeks ago about said how to create a token economy system to improve your child's behavior now i have to admit when you said when you said we were going to talk about the t a token economy mm -hmm. i was like oh jesus what is it i actually thought it was something tied to the real economy i was like oh man no great above my head <laughs> we're not smart I don't, about, I don't want to talk about that that's why I was like, token economy. Oh. We're not smart enough to talk about that. Okay, Pretty thank much, God. What, yeah. Well, like with little kids, like preschool age and stuff, you use like sticker charts to, mm -hmm. you know, you use the potty. Here's a sticker. And then at the end, they get yeah. like a candy or something. It doesn't work so mm -hmm. well when the kids are in, you know, school age because either like yeah. said, that's for babies and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, they're talking about the tokens and you could use anything as a token. You could use a marble or coins or poker chips or whatever. Yeah. And I started thinking about it and I was like, okay, I've got all these tools now. I went to the, what do you call that? The hardware store. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I went to the hardware store and <laughs> I picked up like a bunch of like one and a half inch washers. Mm hmm you know, the wide ones and like the top of a stool, like a wooden stool and nice. just some cup hooks and also some uh, blackboard paint to spray okay. paint on it. Yeah. 
And so I spray painted the wood and just put all the hooks around in a circle around mm-hmm. it and had him paint to decorate the washers himself. So mm. hold on. Yes. I'll be right back. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Let me in a pool of pants. <laughs> Fuck it, just get vasectomies and give away your kids. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be a clip. That needs Jesus. to just play randomly. <laughs> okay, so I don't know where I was, so I'll start again. Oh, you are right here. Oh, fuck you. I hate that song. <laughs> this is the best song ever. It is the worst. Oh, come on. Get in the spirit, Grinch. <laughs> We still have Halloween decorations up. It is not Christmas time. <laughs> you were talking about the tokens. Yeah, I know. Uh, so anyway, we, so I got that, uh, the bar stool top, you know, just the mm-hmm. circle of wood. And, you know, I had Owen spray paint it, which he enjoyed, you know, with a, that's cool. the uh, blackboard paint. Yeah. Then I had him. You know, we actually all took turns. You know, we all took a bunch of washers and decorated them. Uh, the paint didn't work like I had hoped, but, oh. you know, but it still made it his. Yeah. And then I realized, oh, shit, I have to use math to put these things evenly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, so circle, I need to get the circumference and then divide that by 16 hooks. And um, I actually did it. So I was pretty happy nice. about that. Nice. So small victories. And I was like, hey, this is a good teaching moment for Owen. He got bored and walked away. <laughs> God damn it. You don't realize how hard this was. Even though they don't really want any of it. it. Yeah. So pretty much if he behaves, he gets a token or a washer and he gets to yeah. have it on one of the hooks. And is it per day? Like one it a day depends. you can get? I actually, you could, do, you could do a bunch in a day. Really? Well, I'll go into the actual specifics. But for us okay. right now, what we're doing is, you know, you do something right. You get a token, you get to put it on. When you fill up the board, you get a nice, a good sized prize. Mm. So, but if you go the other direction, we take them away. And you take a toy away. That's genius. No, we don't take a toy away. We take a token away. (laughs) That would be the best. If you lose tokens, Owen, a toy leaves. (laughs) Yeah, he wouldn't even notice. So anyway, but they, this article, which again, I will post it, you know, it talks about how reward systems are effective discipline tools because he is very reward oriented. Mm-hmm. So to create it, there's a couple of breakdowns. You know, one of the things break the day down into smaller chunks of time. So what we're doing is like the distance learning. It's mm. like the morning, the afternoon, and then the homework. So there's three nice. sections where he can earn tokens. So that's three right nice. there. Yeah. And then they talk about choose up to three behaviors to address at one time. So that actually works because the problems we're having with him are doing his homework, behaving in class, even though it's distance learning, and swearing because he's swearing like crazy. Oh, my God. Wow. And he like real swear. ones? Oh, he's, like he's, real ones. But yeah. he doesn't swear in front of me. He only Whoa. swears in front of Kim. <laughs> uh, we started it today. So he got two tokens because he did something that Kim asked that was out of the ordinary. I can't remember what, and he was ready for school on time and everything was going smooth. But then he promptly screwed it up by swearing and he did something else. I don't know. uh, But what did you say? Like you got two tokens and you went, fuck yeah. (laughs) No, that one I'd be like, okay. Yeah. All right. You're taking one away. (laughs) But so right now he's down, he earned another one. So he's up to one. He could have had three or four, but he just has one. But I think what happened was he got the two tokens and was like, well, where's my stuff? And then he goes like, um, yeah, fuck, this is going to be a lot of work. And then it's like, Hey, whatever. Cause we were giving him stuff for being good, but I'm like, we're giving him too much stuff. Yeah. So we got to make him work for it. Yeah. So he's starting to get it. And I'm hoping that this works. I'll put an update in a couple of weeks. But they say to create an appealing reward menu with a variety of items. So, I mean, you can do it to where it's kind of like you're at Chuck E. Cheese and they get to pick the toys at the end. Yeah. And then frame the desired behaviors in a positive way. So instead of saying, don't hit your sister, you know, make it more, keep your hands to yourself. And if you go through the day without him hitting his sister, here's a token. Good job keeping your hands to yourself. Yeah. 
and then physically hand your kid the token every time they do it and then provide something where they can you know, measure it, you know, they're talking about have it put in a jar or something. Mine, we just did the board so he can actually see it. And the yeah. cool thing about the blackboard is we can put little messages on there. Like, you know, mm-hmm. right now it says you can do it. We could put two left or something like that. Oh, okay. And he can decorate it. And then, uh, yeah, they say to help it, help your kid find a way to do it. So you can put stuff on there. Like, is this the best you could do? That one's could- a little negative. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a little negative. <laughs> I expected more, but hey, at least you're getting some. That's how I feel about uh, any Peanuts Christmas recording. Oh, my God. Is that the best you can do? Peanuts is the best for Christmas. That's the fucking worst. Oh, my God. How can you say that? I even have my Charlie Brown Christmas tree up, too. I want to end my life when I watch those things. (laughs) They're like depressed adults. Oh, my God. Christmas time. So this one, keep the token economy positive. Mm -hmm. So apparently I need to work on this because apparently I'm not supposed to take shit away. Like, oh, what do you mean? Like taking the token away after he's earned it. Oh, but but I thought that's part of it. Yeah, Yeah, no. Apparently not. Mm. But they're saying you can use pennies, plastic poker chips, marbles, whatever. Just make sure they can't add to it themselves. Oh, yeah. (laughs) It's like, oh, look at this. I got 30 marbles overnight. Okay, kid. Yeah. And then some of the rewards are best uh, if you don't use money, like they get to pick what's for dinner or, you know, they earn time at the park or some shit like that. Yeah. It doesn't have to be stuff. Yeah. Kim and I are both guilty of, oh, I thought Owen would really like this and we pick it up and there's no reason to give it to him, but there's no reason not to. So, you know, so now we can hold back yeah. and there's a little pile that we have. Yeah. And if he doesn't earn it, we could just give it to him for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm real bad with that, too. And Oli's a master of knowing what stuff I'll be like. Yeah. Check. Oh, man, this would be fun to put this Lego together. But mm, you're right. I want to put that together with you. Exactly. <laughs> well, that, like Costco is the worst because I was just there over the weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they've got all their Christmas shit out. And I'm like, okay, this is not going to be around the week before Christmas when I usually do my shopping. So, yeah. Yeah, like there was, he's so big into cops and robbers and into Legos. And they had a a police car and bad guy car Lego kit. Sweet. So, wow. And it was like 18 bucks or 20 bucks. And I'm like, fine, I'll get it. Super good deal. But I'm going to try and save that one for Christmas. But yeah, normally I'd be like, here you go, dickhead. <laughs> yeah. We were just there today too, but I, we were trying to like get it and get out. Well, I made like a big poster. Like when I, when I did Olivia's like birthday cake this year, Mm-hmm. I did like a whole collage of her like from birth till now and then I I cropped it so that all the pictures were inside a, a one and a t- zero for a 10 yeah and then I had you know Rayleigh's put that on top of the cake well she nice. loved the picture so she was like I want that in my new room at her mom's house okay and um she wanted it big though so I just I happened to have like a 16 by 20 frame that whatever was in it's not in it sure um so i made a new one with her help and then went you know it's awesome you print that at costco yeah. is like 650 or something yeah but then we got there and they're like we don't have it and i'm like dang well, at least somebody else might have picked it up i'm like i wonder who's got your poster of you hanging in there <laughs> she's all no no <laughs> like but laughing too but no no like <laughs> Could be. I go, I wonder if someone's got it. It's by hanging at your school, you know? <laughs> so did someone have it? No, we had they had oh, it. They okay. just couldn't find it. She thought, oh, it's over here. Yeah, so she was all happy with her post. Cool. Yeah, but all that stuff was there and I was like, oh. but if we look in there, it, it felt like Ferris Bueller. Like if I look in there, I'm not gonna get out yeah. in time. Robert's gonna yell at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna and you start bad. bashing on your steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're like, okay, cool. we can't look in there. We got to do what we set out to do. <clears throat> yeah, this whole token thing, it kind of reminded me. Do you remember in first grade the system they used on us? No, what was it? Uh, so we each had like a name tag on our desk made out of like card paper, like cardboard. Mm hmm. You could be making this all up. I, I am not because I remember. Zero it. ideas, yeah. And so we could decorate it ourselves and stuff. 
Mm -hmm. And if you were good, you got a star sticker put on it. And if you were bad, I think she carried it in her pocket. Del Noki would walk around and she had a uh, hole punch. Well, no wonder I didn't remember it. I ne- <laughs> I, it was never on my desk. <laughs> no, it was always on your desk, but she would put a hole in it. Yeah, I must have had so, holes. And if you yeah. were good, you, she would cover, cover the hole with a star. Uh-huh. And I remember some of them like were barely <laughs> held up together because they had so many holes. They just looked like cheese. Yep, that's mine. Yeah, she hated me. <laughs> Yeah, I remember because I remember being traumatized because I think the assignment was we had to memorize our address. Yeah. And I didn't, and it was my turn, and I didn't, and she came over and punched a hole in my name tag. Oh. And so the fact terrible. that I can remember this 42 years later. Fucking Trauma. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot, lady. So it was something like that, but I think we'll see. And they do talk about with a system like this, it's going to take some trial and error. Yeah, because you know it could be it's too hard to get the token, so they give up, or it's too easy yeah. to get the token, so they don't take it seriously, or the prizes aren't good enough. So it's going to take some adjusting. So I'm not expecting this to work overnight. But this morning, he was like a freaking angel at the beginning of the day. Nice. But then I think, like I said, he realized that this is too much work. Yeah. And then he just turned into an asshole again. And mm-hmm. sorry, Dave, I called my kid an asshole again. <laughs> Yeah, today was a day I definitely needed the Seattle Gummies. Our sponsor, Seattle Gummy Company. Let's see, they have a new flavor. It is dark chocolate gingerbread. What? Dark chocolate. Oh my God. Gingerbread. That sounds amazing. Cup of coffee's delicious. Worth of caffeine in each gummy. Works five times as fast without the jitters and half the price of a cup of coffee at one of those overpriced coffee shops. Mm. Email us a parenting story. You'll get some samples. We haven't gotten those in a while. Come on, guys. I know you guys are listening, so please email email us at the standupdads at gmail.com. Click the link in the show notes and use the code standupdads15 to get 15% off your order. Seattle Gummy Company, it is Stand Up Dad tested and approved. Get shit done. And that brings us to the bad dad. This guy, I don't even know how to go into it. He's not, well, dad dumps son with no shoes or socks off at gas station in ne- Nephi, later arrested for DUI. This is in Utah. Well, what did he do? Like left him and forgot or something? Like, Well, here goes. So this guy is 49. Mm-hmm. He abandoned his son because the boy misread directions to the nearest marijuana dispensary. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, wait, what, what year was this? Are you sure this is in 75? This just Maybe happened uh, last week. <laughs> That's so, a man out of time. <laughs> and they didn't have dispensaries in 75, especially That's in Utah. True. Yeah. So, yeah. So he used his kid as his co-pilot and the kid fucked up. And so he said, screw it. I'm done with you. And he left him at the gas station. Oh, my God. How old was the kid? Okay, here goes. The cop uh, discovered the 13-year-old boy wearing only a T-shirt and shorts with no shoes or socks. Wow. The boy told police that his father left him at the gas station and drove away. The boy refused to tell the officer his father's name when asked. So yeah. I guess they have some, this is criminal code. You know, he's already teaching him to be a piece of shit. Or just terrified, you know, like. No, that's one of those snitches get stitches thing. Uh, but the boy told the officer that his dad had left him at the gas station because his dad said, and I quote, he was too much and he needed a break from him. Oh my God. He was too much. So the kid didn't say anything about the dad, but he did give, this is in Utah, he did give the cop his mom's info, who is in Louisiana. And the boy's mom said that she and Yates, the dad, have been separated for five years and were not on speaking terms, but both had custody of the boy. So if you've been separated for five years and you're not on speaking terms, how do you both have custody of the boy? I know. Yeah. How can that be? So the kid got picked up by CPS. Then the cop found out that Yates, the father, was pulled over at 11 p.m. for speeding, and he, he had glossy bloodshot eyes and slurred speech and two open beer cans in his van. Of course he had Oh, my God. The dad provided the officer with a different name and birth date when asked and claimed to not have any ID on him. Uh, he failed the DUI test, got his wallet, had two different social security cards for people with the same last name. <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, When asked about the Social Security cards, he claimed that they were his children. 
he eventually told them his real name and that the identity he initially provided was supposedly a name of a friend who allowed him to use his information if needed. Oh my God. Who man. does this? So if I get pulled over, can I tell him I'm Mike Gray? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mike Gray. Yeah, he assured me it was fine. The guy obviously was arrested. The boy said they left the hotel they were staying at to get marijuana at the closest marijuana shop, and he inputted the directions for the shop, thinking it was legal. The phone revealed that the shop was actually 110 miles from the hotel they were staying at, and that's when the dad got angry ah. <laughs> and abandoned him at the gas station. Uh, <laughs> So the dad is char uh, charged for child abandon abandonment and reckless endangerment, as well as <sighs> speeding, driving an uninsured vehicle, having an open container in the car, driving under the influence, and providing false personal information to an officer. They ran out of room on the ticket. No, they had to yeah, go on. The, they had to. Get, they had to be like, let's just use a fresh one for each one because it's yeah. not going to fit on one. And it is no, unknown at the time if the boy is back in custody with his mother because. I can't imagine she's going to be a much better improvement if she thought right. that was the better. I don't know. I know. So I feel pretty good about my parenting skills today. <laughs> yeah, that really, yeah. Yeah, we didn't do that. <laughs> but Jesus Christ, what a piece of crap. But I know, man. Um, That's a bad one. But yeah, so my kid couldn't find the way to the nearest dispensary, so fuck him. <laughs> Let us know what you think. Email us at thestandupdads at gmail.com. Rate us, review us. That's how we grow the show. If you wanted to get a picture of a seven-year-old palm bombing a fart into his mom's face, who would they write to? <laughs> You'd write to me, Mike Gray, Pencil for Hire. You go to Pencil for Hire, Pencil, F-O-R, Hire.com or Pencil for Hire on Instagram. We'll do a drawing of Owen palming farts. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a fun one to do. The fart, the fart palmer. <laughs> just draw Kim angry and me laughing and Owen just <laughs> with little horns. Scooping it up, a little diagram of how to how to do it most effectively. <laughs> uh, the effective fart palm. Keep the fingers closed. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should ask him to describe describe to us what's the most effective fart palm. Oh my God, it was so bad. Uh, <laughs> So also, Mike has a comic strip collection. Tell him about it. Clumsy Love. It's like the first five years. I did it from, I guess it was 2009 to about 2014 or so. And the first year that I did the comic, it's like me and uh, my ex and our, our two cats. Or our cats were kind of like our kids. And then Olivia was born. And it's basically me doing like a comic version of our life, except, you know, I would you know, certain things I could stretch. So now when Olivia reads it, she's totally like, did this one happen or did this one not happen? Yeah, it's pr I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to start doing them again. Good, because they're fucking great. And at least get the other ones that aren't in the book and make a part two. But there's like okay. 600 strips. There's a link for it in the show notes. Click it, get it. They are hilarious. And while you're at it, click the link for I Have Mongombo, the gr graphic novel by Doug Gray. It is hilarious. It's clever. It's different than most of the shit that's out there. And there's a mm -hmm. pandemic going on, and they're closing everything back up, at least in California. So you're not going to have anything to do. Order it. Yeah. Seattle Gummy Company. Again, click the link in the show notes. Enter the code STANDUPDADS15. Get 15% off your order. Send us your parenting stories, and you will get some samples. And finally... Check out my side project, Gag on This Podcast. That's run by Big Nick. And we haven't recorded this week's yet, so I don't know who it is. We interview comics from all over the country and have a great time doing it. Check it out. Give it a listen. We will see you guys next week. See you next week. The thing I want to say is thank you all for coming. Bye-bye.